What's up, everybody? It's AJ. And I'm Casey. And it's TPL time. We're here in Victoria, our hometown. Some new chairs. Happy New Year. Uh, how's your new year going so far? Skull we don't right. have time for that, Casey. There he is. The famous Casey James. Gosh, we're gonna do that again. I didn't press record. <laughs> Yes, we're at the Outlaw Off-Road of Texas, here in Victoria, Texas, and uh, we're here with a special guest. Yep. Who Charity. might it be? When we have a chair, you know it's a guest. You know it's a guest. It's going to be an awesome show. Take a look at some of the stuff that he's been up to now. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. This is our official groundbreaking. We're going to do a little bit Outlaw style now. Who it is, Justin Shaner. What's going on, guys? We're here in your studio, man. Thanks for being a guest. No problem, guys. The yeah, studio, man. his office, his building. I mean, it Everything. looks like a studio. This is his empire right yeah. here. His, his shrine, his 20 year shrine, right? You've yes, been sir. doing this for 20 years. 20 years. Long Dude. hard at it, man. Oh my God. Like, this is amazing. So, thanks for again being on the show. This yeah, is huge. No so problem, appreciate guys. It. I love y'all coming out. Yeah. yeah, Victoria, hometown. This is our, this is technically first episode of 2019. Yes. That's this it. guy's going, it's not even just local, though. Yeah, we're, we've gone Texas wide and, yeah. and going up from there, man. Houston. Yeah. San Antonio, Corpus, Austin. God, so awesome, we're uh, building some killer vehicles. So Justin, tell us, what's the day in the life here at uh, Outlaw Off-Road of Texas? Man, we start off, we, uh, we're we usually here from Monday through Friday, eight to six right now, cool. uh, with our staffing, what we have. Yeah. Uh, customer comes in, wants to modify their vehicle, mm -hmm. whether it's a complete suspension lift, lift kit, uh, tires, wheels, um, exhaust, tuning, make it go faster, burn right. some tires down. Yeah. Really need tires, so they're coming back and need tires. Two days later, we got we need, new, need some new tires. We need a pair of shoes on them, yeah. yeah. Um, you know, we do a full line of truck accessories okay. from uh, steps. We even do the automatic steps, you open the door. That's what I need, yeah. I was yeah, they come down. I need a full like staircase. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, yeah. You know, we do LED lighting uh, for at nighttime, open them up and be able to see on the open highway. You know, if there's no traffic around. Yeah. Of course, you don't want to do it. But, uh, <laughs> you know, we blinded people, we do gooseneck hitches. Uh, to pull the RVs and the campers yeah. oh, and, or the cattle trailers. Yeah. You know, so we pretty much handle anything that a truck can touch. My staff is very experienced um, and what the customer needs and wants. And we really quiz them and, and make yeah. sure that is exactly what they're, they understand their purchase. Wow. A, a lot of our tickets are five and $10,000 bills. Yeah. yeah. But I want to make sure that customer understands everything that he's getting yeah. and why he spent that much money. Yeah. We break it down for him and any questions. Uh, you know, and even if it's a $100 customer mm -hmm. uh, on, a, on a toolbox or something like that small, I still want the, the feel that they are, are appreciated here. Yeah. You know, and, and I have a little motto here, man. I, I hand out free t-shirts. No way. Hey. Yeah, I do. That's, right. That's I, awesome. I, I, it's, it's We get free t-shirts. <laughs> It's free swag. <laughs> free swag. You know, free swag. Swag you know. day every day. You know, and <laughs> I saw dope. Parker wearing, a, he, wearing yeah, one of your t-shirts. Parker McCollum has been repping. Yeah. Shout out Parker McCollum wearing the yeah. t-shirt. Outlaw for us, t-shirts. Yeah. So yeah. you said you've been in this for 20 years. Dude. Like, take me to the very beginning. I don't want to jump in the interview, but I, I gotta know I a little know. bit more, man. Like, yeah, tell me, so, like, from the beginning. Like, start off. Well, you know, I bought my first vehicle. I was 15 years old. Okay. And. Uh, of course, like any other kid, you know, I wanted to lift it, wanted big tires, big <laughs> yeah, wheels, yeah. kind of redneck, up, you know, <laughs> yeah, exactly, yeah. you know, uh, and uh, I, I bought it, and lo and behold, some of the parts were wrong on it, and so I couldn't put it in full wheel drive. Oh no! Had way. I put it in full wheel drive, the, the, the transfer case of transmission would have messed up. So my dad helped me figure all that out, uh -huh. and, we, and the truck was already lifted. Yeah. So then we had to go back and rebuild the truck basically from the ground up. Oh no! So way. when I turned 16. I had my $1,500 truck, and it was correct though. Uh -huh. And then uh, I started flipping vehicles after that. Man, the gas bills got so high, and yeah. I started flipping them and buying what I wanted, and yeah. started off from there, man. No wow. way, dude, and, that's cool. Uh, I was barely learning just the function of actual cars. Exactly. Yeah. 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 I'm still trying to get that stick down. Oh, no, I don't know, stick shit. Yeah, I don't The question is, can I change the spare tire? Yeah, I can. I can, I can. That, yeah. yeah. that was a lesson learned early. They told me to, and that can help you get a girl too. That's the dude, I was gonna say that. that. Break pickup line. Yes. yes. <laughs> hey girl, you need your tire change. <laughs> <laughs> so it just started from there. It started from there, yeah, the interest in vehicles. Yeah, the interest in vehicles. And, you know, I went through high school and I started getting to college yeah. and I didn't know what I wanted to do. Uh -huh. 
parents pushed me towards more electrical engineering yeah. side, and, yeah. but I wasn't having fun with it. Yeah. And man, I'm not gonna do something if I'm not gonna have fun and enjoy my passion. Absolutely. I mean, just like y'all guys. That's yeah. it. This, you know, yeah. I mean, this is us. Yeah. You know, we're doing what we love. For sure. And uh, so I pursued a business management degree at Victoria College. Uh -huh. It took me a little bit of time to finish yeah. it, you know, but I did finish it. And I started the business out of my parents' shop dude. in their backyard. Dang. That's amazing. And back dude. in 99. And seeing yeah. all this come together, dude, this is freaking awesome. It's like, we're gonna I can eat food off this floor. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, we're gonna take a little tour in, yeah. in a little yeah. bit. Just show all around the shop yeah. because y'all need to see it. But yeah, this business has grown, you know. Um, hey, I've started off really small, like I said, in my parents' backyard yeah. in, a, in a shop off my, you know. And I did that for three or four years. And then I took it over to a rental shop off of Cody Circle, yeah. and it's industrial base, uh -huh. and uh, push through, and perseverance, uh -huh. and never giving up. Yeah. But the biggest thing that I've learned, and this is what helped the business grow, uh -huh. is allowing other people to do my work for me. Yeah. Because I, I was the one who wanted to lift the truck, talk to the customer, I wanted to build a receipt, yeah. I wanted to order the parts, yeah. I wanted to talk to the vendors, yeah. I wanted the whole thing. Well, yeah. business can never grow, if you're a hundred percent in charge of everything, absolutely, yeah, you know, and so uh, the minute I could let an employee start building the vehicle, and I, and I was right there with him, mm -hmm. but the minute I could start letting him do that, training him yeah. my passion and how I want that vehicle built, because we see perfection here. Yeah, that's Every, it. I mean, you know, we're we got a, a fifty thousand dollar vehicle, and there's somebody's family's in it. Dude, I mean, yeah. you're doing seventy miles an hour on the highway. Nothing can fall off. I mean, yeah. that would just be atro atrocious. Yeah, you know, and so quality control is number one around here, and and perfection. Having a group around you too, like you listen to those people and then those people that are as driven, that's what's helped me with being around exactly. Casey as well and like when we meet people that are creative and that have yeah. things that are vision. successful, the vision, it always pushes you too. To, yeah, to do does. better. Because you're like, I, why are they, they're thinking that big, I gotta be that, I gotta think that big too. Yeah. Correct. Because if you so. think small, then you're gonna always be small. Yeah. Man. You are who you hang around. Yeah. Yes. As our parents taught us. Yeah. Right. Whether we're, we're hanging out with thugs or whether we're hanging out with a higher influence of people. Yeah. You yeah. are who you're hanging around. Absolutely. So I try to influence myself with other business owners yeah. and like minded people that have a passion for what we do. Real quick, so me and you, we go way back we do. As, as friends and we started off in the, in the music industry, Correct. how I actually met you. So, um, Dude, let's just go into a little bit of that, like a little bit about your passion about music and, and, and like little things they have upcoming for music and all that well, stuff. Well, we, uh, you know, me and you met, I think through Justin Clare probably. Yeah, exactly. And I mean, probably exactly. met at Trader Hall. Yes. Doing something out there. Trader Hall. Watching some Shout shows. Out. Yeah, but yeah. it was somebody low key yeah. that we enjoyed. That we enjoyed, yeah. You know, yeah. and we, and so here's the thing about <laughs> Texas music that I love. Yeah. Man, or even Red Dirt music, those guys are all in. They're, that's it. And it is that's their it. passion. Yeah. And so I feel I have a connection with them yeah. because they're living their dream and I'm living my dream. Yeah. And I and, and we just hit it off together. Yeah. No matter you how know. many people that show up, they'll, they'll still play their heart off for ten. Exactly. Ten people or, or ten thousand. Ten thousand people. people. We sponsored the uh, Victoria Strong Benefit concert with Jared Birmingham, and then we awesome. had Austin Mead here. Um, I gave back to the community because of Hurricane Harvey. Yeah. Put, yeah. On, put on a big show downtown in August. That's awesome. Um, we've got some street dances uh, coming up with some. Uh, Popular people that uh, yeah. will not be named yet because they're not confirmed. Get but ready for those. Just get ready for those this summer. That's that's the one thing that I do love about Victoria and like our surrounding counties and areas. Like we always, since like family is always important to us and like being close to the people and always yeah. seeing the local people like grow. Yeah. We always try to take care of each other, whatever it is. Yep. So like what you're saying, giving back to the community uh, with your company, whatever it may be. Like that means a lot to me because that's what we want to do as well. That's and as we exactly. try to plan to do like right. in the future. I want to ask you, what's, do you have a favorite musician or artist or band? Like what, what's your... Um, I've got a couple right now. I mean, it changes throughout the years. That's so awesome. You know, I mean, right now, some of my favorites right now are, you know, Co Wetzel, um, yeah. uh, Reed South Hall and Parker yeah. McCollum. Oh, yeah, I mean, awesome. those guys are just killing it right now, man. They're yeah. young. Yeah, they're, they're hungry, they're, man. They're, they're hungry, and they're not giving up, you know? And uh, I've, I've talked to all of them a lot yeah. about about their, their past and where they've come from. And, yeah. you know, I don't know, Reed Southall was in the oil field three or four years ago, man. Oh, right over here in, no uh, you know, in South Texas. And he's See, from Oklahoma. Cool story, <laughs> he man. learned to play his guitar on the rig. <laughs> no, dude. You got, that's, you that's got some time to pass a little bit. Yeah, yeah it's a little bit. I mean, bit and, his, and his songs are just emotional, man. And then Parker, I mean, he, yeah. you know, he beats himself up over the music he writes, man. I mean, he yeah. he makes it perfect. Yeah. That's how I build a truck. And that's why I take the time to make sure yeah. things are hundred percent perfect, one hundred ten percent perfect. We're ready for the tour. All yeah, right, let's, let's, get this, let's get this tour on, guys. Let's get Come it. on. Oh, do you want to wait? Hold on. <laughs> one more second. <laughs> oh yeah. So everyone needs to come check out our social media. It is outlawoffroadoftexas.com. 
And our Facebook is Outlaw Fort of Texas. Our Instagram is Outlaw Fort of Texas. And Snapchat is coming soon. It's all right here. Make sure you follow that. We'll slide it all in here. Slide right here, and we're going to slide in their DMs. Yeah. Chuck looked at, man. That's it, brother. Make it happen. Now it's done. All right, now it's time for the tour. Y'all ready? Let's do this, guys. Welcome to Outlaw Fort of Texas. Come on in. Operating the camera, let's do it. Welcome to Outlaw Off Road, guys. On this wall, this is uh, our wall of wheels. We've got practically every style option available here with our full line of tires. On this other side, we've got full line of LED lights, mm. full line of uh, aftermarket replacement bumpers from Addictive Desert Designs, which has a real sleek styling concepts to them, to something more aggressive and rugged, such as the hammerheads. Dude, oh, this is really God. aggressive, dude. I think <laughs> this thing is. Dude. You run in, I feel sorry for whoever you hit with this thing. Oh my god, this is amazing. <laughs> in case you run into it, check it yeah, out, right? test it. Ah. Full line of BDS. We are the authorized dealer of BDS suspension products in the in the within a hundred mile radius of Victoria, Texas. Nice. We got their complete lift kit and we have their full support there. They have a lifetime warranty, no questions asked. No questions. So what does that mean, Casey? That means I can do can jump that truck yeah. and whatever you break, they will cover. No way. No BS. Dude, outside. that's cool. Lifetime warranty, no questions asked. Check I them like out. that. We also do bed covers. Dude, I thought that was a treadmill for the, <laughs> like a miniature treadmill. treadmill. Come on, man. I was like, dang, they got a gym in here too? <laughs> Number two, aftermarket headlights, tail lights from Anzo, Recon, etc. cetera. Warren winches right behind you to your left here. Ooh. Oh, and so yeah. in case you do get stuck, Casey, when yeah, you are dude. playing around, jumping stuff and being like a fool. I like that. When you get stuck, you have 12,000, 16,000 pound winches here. <laughs> the biggest next question is, you know, how do you get in these vehicles? Is uh, definitely having, you know, some sort of step yes. to ease yourself into. Um, NTAP is a very popular step. We sell a lot of them. Uh, they're actually made in Houston, Texas. Hey, H -Town shout out. Shout out hey. H -Town. Yeah. King of steps is the Amp oh, Research Power Step. Yes. This is the automatic. One Ooh, that makes it so so easy to get into. <laughs> LED lights, and floor mats, to vent visors, to uh, fender flares, seat covers. We handle it all here at Outlaw Road, man. Pretty awesome. That's pretty dope. <laughs> Should we go somewhere else? Let's check out a little Let's bit. Check out uh, where the action happens. Yeah, transition time. Back from transition. <laughs> Casey, don't forget your free swagger and get over here to Mount Law Road swag, guys. Dude, this is awesome. I want to be like Parker McCubbin and rock my shirt. <laughs> Dude, he was actually spotted in Houston the other day. I don't know if you saw it on social media. He was rocking his... Outside House of Blues. House of Blues, yeah. yes, dude. It's sold out, sold out show at House of Blues. Don't oh, forget that. Oh my gosh, he's yeah. rocking that. Outlaw That's swag. swag. <laughs> That's swag. Swag wall. Swag wall. So this is where all the action happens. All these bays right here at Outlaw Off Road of Texas, here in Victoria, Texas. You know, they are empty right now. It is the end of the day. We're done with all these badass trucks we just got done building. And so the guys do want to go home, but uh, you need to come check us out, man. Yeah, uh, check us yeah, check out. Look, here's one coming in right now. Look at this this badass one right there, <laughs> rolling in. <laughs> Justin, we appreciate it. No problem, brother. Yeah, sure appreciate the love. Out. Absolutely. Thank you appreciate for coming out man. H -Town, H Town represent for V Town, yep. our hometown. We love you guys. Thanks for tuning in and watching us. Make sure you check Justin out over here at Outlaw Off Road from Texas. And, and we look forward uh, to seeing y'all soon. Yeah, appreciate it, guys.